So hello, welcome back to the channel. Just returning very briefly uh, to Project Cars 2. But yeah, still looking very pretty, um, Project Cars 2. I do like it with the low sort of mist across the circuit. Um, but yeah, it still feels a little bit floaty for me. I can never really swap between Assetto Corsa Competizione and Project Cars 2. It just feels like there's something lacking. It always just feels like a totally different driving experience for me. Um, but obviously we've got so many different cars in Project Cars 2. Um, but yeah, I was slightly disappointed that there is no uh, current optimization or um, frames per second boost. There's no HDR currently in the game. So whether um, the people that I don't know, whether they still run Slightly Mad Studios or not, uh, whether it's obviously Codemaster that's took them over, whether they're still looking at optimizing the game for the new Series X, I've got no idea, but whether that comes at a later date, I've got no idea, or whether they're just working on Project Cars 4 at the moment. Obviously, that's a total different kettle of fish altogether. But yeah, just having a little bit of fun um, in the GT4 Mustang. Be nice to see the Mustang in ACC. Um, but this video I really wanted to do um, more to do with the new Matrix title. Um, obviously we've got um, the new Matrix Resurrection uh, coming out on the 22nd of December. Um, so yeah, let's uh, unplug from Project Cars 2 and just take a little look at the Matrix. So here we have it then, the Unreal Engine 5 running The Matrix Awakens. We'll do the start chase, it's very interesting. Running at 120 uh, frames per second currently. 120 hertz. <coughs> if anyone like me enjoyed the film, I think this game could have a lot to, to prove really. I'm Thomas Anderson. Like many of you, I work with computers. I like the freedom I feel outside the limitations of the real world. But computers are also mirrors, reflecting back who and what we are and the choices we make, the worlds we build. They also confront us with questions about why we want to choose this over that, why we want to make X instead of Y, where do ideas of who we are and what we want even come from? You take the red pill, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. This isn't real. What is real? How do you define real? For instance, I'm not even sure why I'm here. I remember waking up and thinking that I'm supposed to come here. That it was important for me to ask people. How do we know what is real? Such good graphics. Hi. Just dropping I'm down to like 96 Beach. frames there. Over 20 years ago, I first played the you can see the G-Sync working Anderson perfectly. Trilogy. Those films pioneered digital cinema with shots like bullet time. Back then, we talked a lot about where the digital age might take cinema and narrative. In an industry where actors have tried to remain perpetually young, we wondered about digital faces that could become immortal. Hi, I'm Carrie Ann Moss, and I played Trinity in the Matrix films. 20 years ago, we asked ourselves how long it would be before faces and bodies could be changed as easily as we change clothes. We wondered, what would identity mean in a completely digital world? And what would reality mean? So clever. When a world we can build feels as real as our own. Just drop in between 120 and 
I'd be about 96 frames per second at the minute. Who said? The marketing people. Marketing? I thought we were supposed to have total creative control. Welcome to the Matrix. Cannot wait for this film. Preparing me to fight the system? Right on. You know about this? Yeah. It's all it's supposed to be a little unreal. Word of advice agents are bad, but whatever you do, stay the hell away from marketing. See you soon. So, what now? Haven't you ever watched a movie before? Shoot the tires. Say no more. This is where we come in. Keep them off us. You drive. I'll shoot. to learn to reload a bit quicker. I don't think we're going to get the option to drive. Does sound good that must the big gun. Thought you'd never ask. Break out the big gun. You boys are gonna get a kick out of this. Come and get it.
definitely hoping for good things from this game. Obviously we can't just doll do sim racing 24-7. So just looking a little bit now at the world that's been created using um, Unreal Engine, you can just sort of flick between, I guess what's sort of powering the world. Reflections, day and night. particle system virtualized nanite geography which is probably very similar to the um, PlayStation sort of triangular pyramid sort of thing sort of renders and unrenders pixels Looking at the nanites again, really. Display rendering. Digital humans. That looks pretty impressive, really. We can just move around pretty much like GTA or something. Pretty impressive. Fly. So we've got altitude controls. I mean, that's pretty good. Even just looking in the buildings here, look. All the reflections. Just the detail in each, each room, even. I thought we even had lights coming on and off there. Just onto the balconies. I mean, how high is this building? Jesus. I'm not even sure we can go right the way up. Obviously, we've got very much the same picture in every. Oh, not in every room. That's interesting. TV's on. Yeah, so they're not the same in every room. That's quite cool. Same TV. Even still, so much to render. If there were people inside these buildings, then I would be just like blown away. Just gives you. Um, Definitely appreciation of the scale of this game. And this is pretty much, I'm assuming New York, I've never been to New York, but... I mean that is just phenomenal. Just a level of detail. That is amazing. Yeah, that is just phenomenal. Just to... I've, I don't even know if the map's going to cover this sort of area. I've got no idea, but that is just something... That is something to marvel at. I mean, all the offices and everything, that's just phenomenal. Let's get back to walking. Oh. So we can run. I don't think we've got any other sort of controls. We'll go through the map. 
I don't know what these um, symbols are on the map. Maybe we could try and go to one of those symbols. Just uh, across the road. Let's go between here. I don't know if they're like call points or something. Or if we run into people. I kind of turn around. So let's just go to this marker that's on the map. Do you know whether to quite what it is? Can you go in a building? Nope. Not quite sure what we're looking for on this map. Where is it over this side? Oh yeah, I can see something there. Uh, is that something green that shined over there? Which is this pedestrian crossing? See what this is. What's all this about? There is rumoured to be a jump park somewhere in the city full of ramps like this one. Can you find it? Well, let's see if we can just get this car over here and just go up that ramp no real sound from driving oh, I mean we've got much of a run up have we let's give it a go Didn't go too well, did it? Oh, let's get out of there. Just don't really run very fast. It's, um, can't sort of set a waypoint on the map. So let's try and do some at one of these other locations. I think we're definitely going to need a car for getting around. Can we drive this big truck? No. I don't think you can steal cars either. I think you just have to get them at the side of the road. Obviously it's just a little mini game this. Uh, let's have this Porsche just in the middle. Perfect. Yeah, handling's a bit weird. Uh, and you can't really move without on the screen either. So. Uh, left here, I think. I can't run people over either, just vanish. So, down here somewhere. I'm assuming. Once the game is oh, it's got to be down there somewhere. It's 
right down here. Should just be on our right, I think. Oh, there we go. We'll just park here. I wonder what the residents upstairs are watching on TV. Well, I don't think we can go in this building. No. Or maybe we can just fly. See what the residents are watching. I don't know what's happened to her now. Oh, she's just disappeared altogether. Oh, there she is. Let's just go to one of these other ones. This uh, yellow one. I think we're just running for that. Oh. It does look pretty good though. Just the level of detail just amazes me. There's no real sound, I didn't think, from the cars. So down here and take a left for this yellow one. Don't know what these yellow ones are. Can't really punch people or do anything. Maybe it's a special car or something. I'll just cross over here. No, she doesn't run really fast, does she? Oh. Yeah, we'll keep just on the map things for now. Are we going to stop? Yeah, okay. Keep on walking. Still 120 frames. Quite smooth. Yeah. Thank you. Should be his next street, I think. There we go, you can see it shining. I like the audio, the audio sounds pretty good as well. Just the sounds on the street and everything. Oh, it's still just another sign. This demo also showcases an experimental night lighting mode using only immersive light via lumen global illuminations and reflections. So I guess there's a load of these things to visit, but it doesn't tick them off as you go through them. Mega City Explorer running. Our main menu. I guess you flip between those. 
expose a compensation. That didn't make much difference. Focal length. Oh, okay. So we've got sun rotation. That's pretty slow. So you can pop it how crowded it is. I like it being quite crowded. Traffic. Visualise crowd and traffic on. matrix filter alright so that's a real world that's quite cool and then I guess when you're in the matrix it's so it is like a green haze I like that quite clever all the controls photo mode it does look pretty cool yeah it's pretty you can't do very much else I guess you're just gonna visit all these other areas on the map I guess that's one I'll leave up to you guys. Just break, breaking, <laughs> making my uh, world a little bit more visual. Yeah, no one does anything. I don't think I can drag someone out of their car. No. I can only steal cars. Does it really? There's not really like much sound. I do like how the cars look though, and everything. Coming through. Oh, that's caused some serious damage. Look at that front fender. I only just touched the guy. That's how. Imagine if that was how sim racing games were. I'd literally just see on this car here. No real sound from the cars. Oh, yeah, that's caused a major thing, hasn't it? You see where it's like ploughing into something at speed. It's this guy. Sorry mate, I think I'm going to need a new car. This one looks perfect. It's almost like that is some serious pile up. It's like explain that on your insurance. 
Um, yeah, I was just driving along and someone went right into the back of me. That guy's got to be dead. Mm, it's going to cause a serious uh, traffic jam. Can't get in a taxi. Not really much else to do on this demo, uh, but a very interesting demo. Just lacking sound. There's like literally no sound from the audio of a car. But I do like the environment, I do like everything about how this game looks shadowing I mean that's just pretty clever and I do like just looking around the city I guess I guess if you've never been to New York I'm not saying this is the best way to look around New York but Uh, look at that, even the sun's pretty cool. Just even the rooftops. Phenomenal. Maybe that's the uh, John Wick Hotel just on the corner, maybe. It's a really weird shape building. Maybe it's that one. I really don't know. We're just getting into the heart of the city I guess even though the crane or the, the structures on the roofs are so detailed just got a feeling about this game if it's in anywhere near as good as the movies Pretty good, isn't it? Oh. And there we go. So I think I'll leave that there. Just while I'm getting arrested here. I'll get back on the sidewalk. But yeah, so that's the Matrix. Um, Awakens. I guess you just come back to the main menu. I don't think you can go into like photograph mode. Returns you to the main menu, I guess. So yeah, looking forward to that. I hope you've enjoyed a very different uh, video. Um, as always, ciao for now.